Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Sandy Bay. We're going to continue today. We're going to finish off field number 20. We're doing a massive harvest in there and we've got three combines on the go. We've also got the lorry and also the traction trailer, but I don't think we've got enough because we can't really keep up with the chaser bin. So I'm going to take the lorry down to the field along with the traction trailer and then I'm going to come back, rent another lorry trailer and then basically we're just going to be able to unload the chaser bin into the trailers continually until hopefully the field is done. We don't really want to be going back and forth to the store while we're still harvesting. Ideally, I'd like to stay in the field. So if I just turn around and get everything sorted, we can head down there and we can make a good start. The tractor and trailer is in the shed, keeping dry. The sky was looking a bit overcast, but I'm hoping we're going to get away with it. We shouldn't get any rain. Now, this store, although it isn't actually full, it looks very full. So I don't think I will bring any more to here. Uh, we should be able to afford to sell some straight off anyway. That's the plan, at least. So this can go directly behind the lorry on Follow Me. And the combines today, they're not actually going to be on the follow me mod, they're actually going to be on auto combine. I think it'll work better, a lot of you did suggest it yesterday. And yeah, it probably would have been a better thing to do actually, when they were following each other yesterday, all three. I guess if they were on auto combine, it would work quite well. Just as long as we had it set so they wouldn't follow so close. Now as we're driving the lorry today, we should be able to turn left. If I can get a good enough swing round here. The hedge has got a collision, so we can't hit that. But really, if the lorry trailer can get around, the tractor should. No problem at all. So as you should be able to see in a minute or two, I have roughly positioned the combines where I want them, except for one of them. This one's going to do this side, that one in the centre, well there's two together, one which is facing that way, um, is going to do the middle, and then it'll probably decide on its own which way it's going to go from there. And the one behind that is going to go on the far side, I'm going to have to get everything set up. So this first trailer, we're going to put it probably here, that is probably best place we move a bit further down so we can get the second one in so that can go there and then we're now going to go back to the yard and rent another trailer but I will get the combines going first of all we might as well so we don't need the auger out really hoping this is going to work we need to be on the up down mode that's right that should all work okay a bit of luck. It might get a bit confused just down here because it's a bit wiggly but should be okay. The next combine, same thing again, that should work with a bit of luck. Right this one actually is going to need to be done manually just for the first one. It's getting a bit confused with which side to do. So if I just drive down here then we should be able to put it on a worker after that and it should all work fine. Uh, the other one that one should be fine because we've already gone around the headland once so it's just a bit of practice really I think practice is going to make perfect with this the yield is just so good on this field it's already 64% full we're going to have a real job keeping up with these obviously in the ideal world we'd have about six lorries waiting for us continually going back and forth which would work in multiplayer but just not in single player. Well, it would work on course play, but I think it would get very chaotic. With lorries coming and going on the same very narrow track, they couldn't even pass. So, 
That is that one done. I think I probably want it to go... What direction would that be? East. East of here. Because that segment there isn't too big. And that one does extend all the way down there as well. So if we can go this way, it'd be great. Uh, let's just make sure we've got the setting right. Well, that's it. That's got it. And now for the, the last combine, which is this one here. That one is already waiting to be unloaded, unfortunately. Uh, there is going to be a bit of downtime. But if we can... I'll try my best. I'll try my best to try and get this done uh, as efficiently as possible. Not exactly easy with one person, though. There's the intercity down there. So this one shouldn't be any issue at all. It should just be able to go. Yeah, I think that's got it. So now finally, all we have to do is go back to the yard and rent that trailer for the lorry. So that is our next trailer. Quite expensive doing it this way, but with the amount of money we should make from this field, I'm not really too worried. It's a real shame it's not a canola field actually, because it would be more manageable, because you won't be getting quite so much out of it, and it's worth more per tonne. I suppose you don't get as much out of it, so probably the price probably evens out at the end, but just for managing it, canola would have been easier. We could put canola in it next, but I have a plan, and it is to use some multi-crop, you know, some, some other crops which you can download, instead of the usual four, which I think might make it a bit more interesting. So we might do a different crop after the barley we've got in there now. We'll just have to see. But yeah, that is two waiting. One is almost waiting. So if we can park this here, I'll have to give it a bit of space because we need to reverse with the tractor to drop the trailer off. But that is now three empty trailers waiting. And then of course we've got the chaser bin, which we'll be unloading into. So here goes the first combine. Is our first one done? We are 31% full. And that one, that combine was full, and this chaser bin, I think, was empty. So we should finish off with 93% in the chaser bin. We should do. The other two are also full, but now everything is set up, this should run smoothly. I really hope. And the amount of bales we're going to get out of this, if I actually do bale it, a bit of lag there. Uh, yeah, the, the bales will create lag as well, but I'm not sure what that's about. We'll get this one done, and then finally the third one, and then they'll be all moving again. Ooh, this is really bumpy, this field. <laughs> you can fail it by watching. I think that's the real train mod kicking in there. That is really making it feel bumpy. Probably going a bit too fast. But we've got to get these combines going. And that is all three on the go. And it looks like the first one is 74% full again, so we've got to really quickly dash back. Go and unload this into one of the trailers, which have disappeared because they were so far away. And then, unload the first one again. If we can keep it up, this will work well. 
The auto combine is a great help though, it's much better than the workers which you get in the base game. At least there is a slight amount of delay when they turn round because they're so slow at turning round. That does help us a bit, but not too much. Yeah, that one's going to stop 96% full. But really, it won't be too bad, so I think we're okay. And we're empty. Those two are still moving. We're getting full though. Unfortunate, this the, the two of them now have been full when they've been facing the crops. It means after driving the crops, which isn't great, but hopefully most of the time they'll be facing the other way. They're eating this field up though. This is really keeping me on my toes. We've got no time to sit back and read the newspaper today, which I think pretty much sums up harvest in real life. I'll try and get this one while it's turning because it, it really does need to be done. And again, the other one over there is facing the wrong way for us to unload. It's a real shame that. We're really getting on top of them now. The first one is only 47% full, or 49% full, not sure which is which. Which means we can have a bit of a breather. We'll unload this of course, and I'll try and get a good screenshot. If I can. It only just reaches into there. It's probably not ideal putting it into a, a lorry trailer. You'd have thought it would be designed to though. It does reach, but only just. So that trailer is full. We'll move on to, well, we'll probably put this 7% into the Stewart trailer. which it does reach into, if we don't crash into it. And now we'll be ready to unload the first combine, which is again facing the wrong way. What is going on here? Ah, that one over there. That one's facing the right way. Another one at 100%. So that is the status of the field. It's going really quickly. These three harvesters do a big job together. They really do work well. Anyway, once again, let's go and unload the chaser bin. So I think we pretty much know that it is three combine tank loads to the chaser bin. It will take a bit more. Like at the moment it can take 11% more, but it's not worth waiting. You might as well just get it unloaded ready for the next three tank loads. We'll start this one if we can. If the clearance is okay, good. That's fine. Um, yeah, so the best thing is when they take ages to turn around, I'm usually complaining about that, but actually in this case it's very helpful because it means they're not all full together. From this angle it looks like it's almost finished. When the first one is done, we'll just tidy up this bit here because we missed that bit. And then this huge field 20 will be done in, I don't know, in real time. It's, it's less than an hour it will take, I think. I am editing bits out, but not too much really. Just me driving to and from the trailer.
So the lorry is 52% full. That is from one chaser bin load. So it can take less than two loads. Uh, but we should get most of this load in. And then that is two lorry trailers full. And then it just leaves what is left in the Stuart trailer. And obviously we can fill this again. Honestly, I think we'll have to go and empty one of the lorry trailers now. Because I don't think we'll get it all in. So I think that's what we'll do. But that is pretty much empty. So we've got one Lexion at 63%, which is that one there. That one is filling up so quickly because it doesn't really have much downtime. It's continually working with just a tiny bit of turning at the end. Uh, the one over there is actually the slowest, I think. That's taking a long time to fill. Uh, that one is average. I'm not sure why, actually, that one is taking so much longer than that one there. Shame they don't have numbers above them. You don't know which one I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, one of them is taking much longer than the others. We will put this in the man trailer and we'll take it to the store. That is full. Really, oh, I want to take it to the store, but the Stuart trailer's got space in it, the chaser bin's got space in it. Basically, the question is can we get all of that in the chaser bin and the Stuart trailer? I don't know. It's hard to guess, really. I think it'll be close. I might risk it. So this is the one which is filling up much quicker than all the others. The other one over there has got very confused because it's pretty much come to the end. So I might take that one and just finish up the bits that have been missed. There isn't really too much missed, but there is a bit. Uh, that one wants emptying. This worker has given up and gone home. That one over there can finish that. That one there can finish that. And we will finish over there. And that'll be our field done. I'd love to know how much grain we've actually got out of this. Uh, we did have 8,300 and something litres in storage already. So if we take that away from what we've got, we would have an answer. But we're not going to know because we're going to take some of it to the store. Uh, so I don't know exactly, but I know it's going to be good. It's going to be very good. There is a lot of grain in this. And it was definitely helped by the sprayer. use the cameras for this. I think it's four and five. Not connected. Why is that? Hmm. Not sure why they're not connected. Should be. I don't know why that is. <laughs> That's really weird. I should think if we disconnected the header and then put it on again it would fix that issue. It's probably got confused because it's been on a worker. Right, that one over there has almost finished. It thinks it's finished, but it hasn't. There is a bit more just over there. This one should turn around and just do that bit there. But once that is done, that really is the field complete. load this into the Stuart trailer. And we 
should have the, the auger cam actually. There we go. And our chaser bin is once again full. It's just the one combine working now. The other one will complete over there. It's just a tiny strip. It's hardly anything. That one's got a bit more to do. So we'll put this into the Stuart trailer. We'll attach this tractor to that trailer. And then we'll take the lorry and the traction trailer to probably Littleham stores. Here we go. I really hope it's going to make it. This is a narrow road. Very narrow. Let's get those beacons on. So Littleham Stores is left out of here. It's the closest store to us. So it should be okay. Instead of going to the other one. I haven't checked the prices but you'd hope they're very similar. Part of the map we don't see too often. Nice to come over to the side. This is behind the Sandy Bay farmyard. That's uh, just over there. Nice jackknife. Impressive, it still made it into the yard without any human intervention at all. After jackknifing. <laughs> oh, these workers. They need sacking. I wonder if it would tip on its own. I've have I ever done this before? Have I ever used follow me to a cell point? I don't know if I have. I always forget. Let's see. See if it tips or if it just drives over. Yeah, impressive. Well, I would say the answer to my question is no, I have never done that before because I would have probably known that it wasn't going to work. I'm forgetting to watch the money. The more we sell, the worse the profits will be. But, still not too bad. Obviously it's still not great, but we're going to put some in storage and we'll wait for great demand. That way, we'll make a fortune. Okay. So Biotech is just over there, we've just gone past it, and it's actually, at the moment, great demand for silage. So if we sell some of our silage bales, we should make a huge profit out of all of those. Apparently it's something like £20,000 per bale, which is uh, a bit unrealistic to be honest, but we will have no more money problems, that's for sure. How are we doing in the field then? It should be almost complete. Let's make sure that lorry doesn't come crash. Yep. It gets stuck there. So that lorry needs to stay just there. Um, and we will unload the rest of these two combines into the trailer. One of them is ready. The other is close. Everything now on, we'll go to the yard. We're not going to sell anything else at the moment. Um, I think it'd be a bit of a waste as we've just sold a load. The price won't be too good. While we're waiting for the other combine to unload, we will put the cover over this trailer, we'll drop it off there, we will attach to the next one and get it ready for going back to the yard.
And that is the other combine, almost done. So we're going to go back to the yard with this trailer, and we'll probably have the lorry, lorry following us. We'll then come back with this tractor and trailer, because we need to unload the auger wagon. There's still a full load in there. Uh, and then that will really be it. That will be this field finished. I can't believe we have managed to complete it so quickly. It's a huge field. I don't even need to tell you that. It's so obviously huge. Again, I don't think we'll turn right here. I'll just have another look at it. I think it's too tight for the lorry. Uh, yeah, I'll just carry on. We'll go to the main road. hardest thing is going to be tipping in this shed because it's filled up so quick the mound of grain has just it's just gone massive immediately it's huge we can't even get the trailer into the shed oh what's going on here got the gates open don't want them escaping So I think what we have to do really is go in between the two sides to be able to unload. Should work then. Still increasing in size. Which can't really get in there. Right, we got there in the end. So the lorry needs to be unloaded too. There must be a lot in storage there, and all of this has to be unloaded via our JCB, which is actually in the other side, I think. I think it is. We haven't used it for so long. I think it's just been sat in here. Yeah, there it is. We'll need that very soon. That's an empty trailer. Park it out of the way. And we're back up again. This is the grain from the chaser bin. It's actually filled it. Uh, we also did empty one of the Lexians, which actually leaves only 2% in another one, a really annoying amount. So we have to go all the way back there just to get 2% out. But we can't really waste it. That mound. <laughs> Can't get over it. I need to check how full that shed is. Right, how full is it? 186,079 litres. Impressive. Let's go and get our 2%. Oh, and there's um, a living turkey if you're interested. This was added to the map as well. Nice little touch there. It's the farm pet. And there is our, well, 1%. There was two in the combine. Uh, so let's line the fleet up.
there we go. So we've got the Lexium 580, which actually looks remarkably clean after all that. We've also got the Lexium 580, but this is the one with Terra Tracks. This one is the one with wheels, um, which is actually a bit mucky. And also, oh, believe it or not, it's a Lexium 580 with wheels. So <laughs> that is today's fleet. Uh, I think it actually worked really well. I think we'll probably do that again in the future. We might have even have even more combines on the go. We'll have to see. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. I certainly have. And please do join me again in the next episode. Bye for now.